Mustang PEK 3685 back with another video benchmark. This time it was a request from one of the viewers for Dying Light. And obviously um, this has the enhanced um, add-on as well. Um, but yeah, so the options in this game graphics-wise um, are best performance, balanced and best quality. So we're going to start off with best performance. And it's the window that you can see at the top is because we're playing in best performance. So it's telling us that to leave it in the slight window mode. So we'll go with that because that's the preset. So let's start and we'll see how the frame rate goes for a couple of minutes and then we'll change it. Now VSync is off as well, remember, so um, if there's any stutter or frame dip or tearing, if you notice any in the game, remember that VSync is not on, okay? VSync is off at the moment. So... I'll attack a couple of these zombies. Let them effective. Pulling up more weapons. Okay, a wee bit outnumbered there. Not all my weapons are ineffective, surely. Okay. Um Any weapons lying about anywhere that I can actually use? Try to see if I can find a weapon at the moment, two seconds. So it's saying that these weapons are gonna be ineffective, so I'm trying to see if I can find something. About um, ones that's not broken, I think that's the one there. Okay, so this is performance mode, so I'm gonna change this in a second. So as you can see, this is obviously not ineffective, there we go, just kicked his ass there, right, so, so that gives you an idea on best performance mode then, um, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to quickly go back to the menu to change settings, so I'll do that just now, as you can see the frame rate's uh, very high on performance mode. We're going to go back to the main menu and we're going to change settings, graphics settings. So we're going to go with balance now. We're going to give that an OK. And... OK. So this is balance. So this is the sort of console experience here that we're going to be doing. Um, so like your Xbox One, PS4 basically, um, that kind of standard. Um, this is the balanced graphic option. We'll play this for a few minutes and then we'll go to the best quality. So this is balanced. Oh god, there's quite a lot on there. That might not be the best idea. Uh, we bit outnumbered at that, these areas here. So I don't know if that's the best idea, considering we only get a pipe and it's starting to bend. Um, so yeah, this game's honestly... Um, I love Dying Light, it's a great game. Um, if you haven't played it, I recommend it. If you have, um, this is one of the games that should be on your in your library. 
Um, huge game, lots to do, lots to see, and lots of zombies to kill, kick the ass. Um, so I'm just going kind of roughly to the same areas here just to show you, and obviously I've mingled in with our zombies as well. Where the heck did that, that zombie come from? So yeah, unbalanced as well. Obviously, you've got the um, the the graphical quality there, along with a good frame rate. Everything's very smooth. No issues. So let's try, now that you've seen it obviously on Balanced, let's try the um, best quality settings here. Options, game. This is obviously the preset. Now, I like to sort of mess about with my graphic settings a wee bit myself. But this is just the preset I'm showing you on, bear in mind. So as you can see, full screen V-Sync is on for best quality. Um, texture quality high, shadow map size high. This is the preset for best quality, okay? So we'll go back in and you'll see the frame rate for best quality. Uh, please give us a like, subscribe if you've got any questions. Feel free to ask. Um, I'm just tilting that slightly with the light in the background. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions about the FX 504 GM Ace stuff, post away. And if you get any benchmark requests, if I've got the game on my li in my library, I will certainly, if I've not done it already, I will do a benchmark as requested. Um, yeah. So, so this is the best quality settings. So I'm going to get out of there because I'm pretty much outnumbered. And my blunt weapon is about to die in me. Yeah, so, I mean, thanks for the request um, for this. Um, obviously, the plan is to get through the games that I've got in my library and benchmark them so people can see them. But um, I appreciate people making requests, asking us, um, and I'm more than happy to do them. Um, I got a request of Player Unknown's Battleground. At the moment, I don't have that game, unfortunately. Um, if I add it to my library, I will certainly do a benchmark. You can also search for it as well. Just search. Um, for the spec of this and see if there's a video there should be. Um, if not, I'll certainly get one up um, if I get the game and I'll show you how it goes. But anyway, so yeah, back to this. As you'll see, the frame rate is high still, or high enough, and it's smooth. There's not any stutters, jitters, jumps, nothing. It's all pretty smooth. Oh, so the weapon's ineffective, so I need to find another weapon, so there we go. Weapon degradation. Um, okay, so that gives you an idea then of the presets for Dying Light. Um, overall, overall the game runs really smooth in all the settings. Obviously performance you'll get even higher frame rate, balance gives you sort of balanced experience and the best quality you've got, the graphical as you can see, the graphical quality here is pretty stunning. Um, and you've still got a decent enough frame rate. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Um, give us a like, subscribe, and I'll be back soon with another video benchmark. And if you get any questions, post away. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.